We all have those friends. You know the ones. The ones that for some reason after you get on your computer after they've been on it, something's changed. Something new is installed. Something you'd prefer not to have on there. Right? It's kind of normal for us to be in denial about this, but the reality is some people fear is the only true motivator. In this video, I'm going to show you how to instill a little bit of fear into your friends. They log onto your computer. Of course, I don't condone installing real viruses. This is a gag virus. This is one that, you know, will run in the background and it'll mess with their heads. This, this is my, that's my kind of fun I can have. <laughs> okay, first thing you got to do, it's, it, oh, it's stupid. You're going to see this probably every video. First thing you're going to want to do is uh, open up your computer. And uh, let's go to your C drive and uh, go ahead and scroll down and right click anywhere and we're going to select new and we're going to select text document. Okay, go ahead and type, we got to at this point title it something that somebody wouldn't delete. Mm, traditionally, people don't delete things that look important or are confusing. So let's just put a weird series of numbers here. I'll uh, type in, I don't know. Something I can remember. Uh, five, five, four, four, five, five, four, four. Sure, why not? And then let's open up that text document. And we're going to type in, uh, just bear with me here, MSGBOX, open bracket, quote. Now, this is uh, where we're going to, depending on your situation and what type of behavior you're attempting to discourage, um, let's say your buddy is downloading porn on your family computer. Such a great friend. We'll just go ahead and say, do not download porn on this computer. Or is that too obvious? No, that's too obvious. Let's say you like free porn you can download tons for free we love you long time that way they think this message is going to display on uh <laughs> when you log when you're uh, when you log into the computer why not and then just uh close the quote and uh, close the bracket and then what we want to do is we want to click file save as and remember this 5445544, we're going to save it as a .vbs file this time. And then click save. And now let's test this out, okay? So just select your start button. Uh, in the search bar, just type in command and press enter. And then let's go to cd, c colon slash, nope, yeah, just c colon slash. And let's type in our 5544 and press enter. Oh, look at that. You like free porn? You can download tons for free. We love you long time. Awesome. Now, we've created something that's a, an annoying pop-up, which, you know, old school viruses did that a lot. Next, we're actually going to schedule it to show up on his screen, on his profile. So log out and log into the profile he will be using. And then uh, type in task to your search bar. You can bring up your task scheduler. Uh, ignore that error. Once a task, task scheduler is up, this part's pretty dang easy to do. We're going to go to the right-hand side here. And we're going to create a task. General, again, you want to title this something that uh, it's not obvious. We'll just say important. That way people think it's an important task when they see it. Then you want to select the Triggers tab, select New, and then at this point we can actually schedule how often it's going to occur. We're interested in daily, right, because he's going to, you know, we're assuming you're going to set this up before he walks in. And if it's just on his profile, it'll just show up on his profile. And down here, let's really annoy him. We want to repeat the task every five minutes for a duration of indefinitely. Nice little reminder there, right? And then... After that, just select OK. 
And now for actions, this is where our, uh, our script we just wrote comes in. We'll just select new. We're going to do start a program. Select browse. And we'll go to our C drive like we were before. And we'll scroll down to our 554455.vps. See, it's, there, it's right there. Select open. Select OK. Conditions, just leave normal. Uh, or if you want to be a little creative. I mean, sometimes creativity is, is a lot of fun. And another thing we can do uh, is we can go into here and uh, we can allow the task to be run in different ways as well. But we're just going to keep this one simple. Then select OK. Now mine's going to throw up an error message. But uh, just ignore that. Yours probably won't do that. And then now we have right here, it says important. Last run succeeded. Now every five minutes, that pop-up message is going to display on the screen. So go ahead and close everything out. Close it all, close it all, close it all, and you are done. So your friend might approach you a little awkwardly saying, I don't know what happened. I just, but for some reason, every five minutes a pop-up's coming up on my screen. And then, of course, you need to act offended because, well, no, 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 act curious. Offended would be too too soon to act offended. Act curious and say, well, what does the message say? And then have them explain to you what the message says. And then you ask them, well, have you been downloading porn on my computer? And then, of course, he'll have to confess to it. And you're like, dude, that's not cool. I got important documents on that computer. And uh, if you want to, you can disclose it to them. But that's up to you. If you want to see more videos like this, just uh, subscribe on YouTube. Uh, follow on Facebook or follow on Twitter, and stay tuned. There's plenty more videos ahead.